So one of my favorite phrases is that every beginning begins with an ending. And we can see this almost like a, a bridge. You know, we come, we come to the, the edge of a piece of land, like, you know, the ending of that piece of land. We cross this bridge and we come to the beginning of a new piece of land. And we can look at menopause, actually, as that time when we're on the bridge, we're in this transition point. And with every ending, there can come a sense of grief. Now, we see it a lot where, you know, maybe we feel a sense of grief for the woman that we were. We might feel a sense of grief um, for the loss of our fertility because, you know, for so many of us, it's, it's, it's a part of our identity, it's a part of our womanness. There's grieving processes involved, you know, it's the end of being fertile, being able to have children, even though we are okay with the fact that, you know, I'm 50 in a few weeks, I'm okay not having a child at 50. Um, uh, it's not that you don't want, you want to have a child, it's just that it is the ending of something, it's the finality of it. When I got to about 50, I started feeling quite broody which is absolutely crazy because I've got two children, two very happy, healthy children. But I kind of thought, oh gosh, I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. And wouldn't it be nice to have a baby? And I'd sort of look at pregnant women and be quite envious. I would say for me personally, I used it as a really positive springboard. You know, I loved being 20, I loved being 30. I completely appreciate I'm not going to be that same person but I can move direction a bit. You look at sort of like, you know, life and sort of like, well, what do I want to be doing now? Where do I want to be? What sort of things do I want to be doing? And you start thinking about going on holiday, you know, and doing trips to places you either haven't been to for years or you'd always wanted to go. You know, you kind of embrace your inner goddess. I started paying attention to what I need for me Lockdown helped that. I don't know, you know, whether it would have happened anyway, but I started thinking, no, I'm going to choose that because that's what I want. Whereas, you know, it's like when you've got kids, you always put everyone else first. I did actually, at the age of 50, have a complete turnaround in my career because my marriage broke down and I um, thought, right, OK, well, I'm, I don't want to become a victim here and I'm going to do something that I really, really want to do. And I went and trained to be a professional actor. Yeah, so I kind of had a bit of a midlife crisis, but a bit later on. <laughs> I saw it very much like in the future as a new journey, and how can I embrace that journey was kind of the question that I uh, sort of asked myself. And I don't even know the answer to it now, but I do keep asking myself that. I am trying to find all the answers. I'm trying to do everything that I think is right for myself you know, and value myself and, you know, value the sort of life I've got ahead of me and just make the most of it.